We've done all the hard work, we've created a great mix, and now we want to save it. So we have a couple of places where it can be saved, either click holding the LCD where, that shows you the actual snapshot name. You can save that as a snapshot directly now. So I'll save it as test one, okay. Or the other way is to create a new show, okay, by you can create a new show and name that and then save the snapshot within that new show that you've created. Now, please remember when you create a new show, it doesn't actually save a snapshot in there automatically. You still need to save snapshots within that show. The other way to get to the menu is settings and the shows menu. So the two ways are click hold, long hold on the actual name of the snapshot you're in or through the settings menu. If you just click on the um, snapshot menu LCD display here, you will get the actual shows and list here where you can automatically load new snapshots as you go. So if we had two snapshots uh, or five or six or ten snapshots, you can go between them, between songs as such. Do remember there's a roughly a one second uh, mute that occurs there, especially if there's changes of gains or phantom powers um, that will occur. So note that. In the functions of the big slide out, the large slide out in the functions area, there's also previous and next snapshots creating new snapshots and updating the current snapshots. So if I wanted to update the snapshot, save snapshot is a new snapshot, so test two, say, okay, saved. That go back out to the, if I would made a small change here and I wanna just update the snapshot, it'll ask me a question, update current snapshot or not, okay. Do remember that when you're loading a new snapshot, it's not going to save any changes you've done and you would lose them. So make sure that you actually save snapshots between changes that you make if you want to keep that mix. What's saved in the snapshot? That's an interesting question because we have a few things that are saved and a few that are not saved in snapshots. If we go to the settings page under the settings menu, you will see all local settings that are on the top and then we get to another section that um, talks about global settings. So we can actually save local setting presets with this button here, and that'll save it internally or to an external USB stick. We can import and export those presets as well. And these are basically client settings. For example, where the sync ID is on, you can see all the local buttons here, where the sync ID is on, uh, whether you have um, this big slide out setup, uh, holding fader for fine tuning, a lot of the local things that are client based that are not basically complete mixer based. So different clients may have different settings and those are the local setting presets which are not saved within your snapshot. The other part that's not saved in the snapshot is AFS2. The AFS2 settings are currently not saved in the snapshot and you have on AFS2 you have the ability of creating presets, user presets and factory presets and then when you export the presets these will get exported as well. The reason for this is that AFS2 obviously would change depending on the monitor area you are and I wouldn't say that you want to load a new snapshot for a song and all your uh, AFS2 settings would change between songs so be aware of that as well. Um, the rest, as far as EQs, gains, patching, etc., they're all saved in the snapshot. And um, the other part within the actual snapshot section is the isolates. And if you wanted to load in a new show or a new snapshot and you didn't want, for instance, to change the mic gains or phantom power or only select certain channels, that are going to be loaded. For instance, you might have some settings you like on another show. You can just load these settings in and then save them in a new snapshot. And that's how we can you know, go between shows and snapshots of, uh, of different versions and create our own show from certain presets we had previously. Uh, exporting them to a stick is quite straightforward. Uh, if I go to my 
back to my shows menu okay so I can import and export from stick if I just insert a stick in the UI here we'll get the message on the screen that we've inserted a USB stick and now we can export that okay to the USB I've inserted my USB stick in the play if otherwise it'll be in the USB record and I'll say okay and the export is successful and if I wanted for example to import that in I can click on the import button and you can see USB play has default on it and USB play has video in it which is all my shows that are right here same situation with the uh, with the other local settings so if I go to my settings here and I export all presets so it'll export all the presets that you've made up for the guitar settings and the EQs compressors channel strips you can get all the local setting presets that way so if I export all local presets to USB play that'll say okay I didn't select it so I'll export it I'll select it sometimes I need to learn to export successful uh, and obviously if I wanted to import it import all presets I'll say cancel because there's only one folder on the stick it'll import all of them I don't need to import that again and that's about it as far as um, shows and uh, presets are concerned and the um, snapshots Thank you.